he's done, dude. Nice shot. He called me on the sat phone. Good news. He uh, he said there's a couple bulls bedded down about 400 yards from where he's hoping to put the tent. So just small bulls, but we got caribou in the area, and it's starting to sound like it's going to be a good trip. flying so we had our first day airborne rule yesterday so we just set the camp up and it was uh, fogged in and raining for most of the day so went and filtered, filtered some water got the camp all dialed in nice night of sleep now we're just getting ready for first day let's heating up some burritos nice cup of coffee and it's looking it's gonna be a nice day out there. Oh yeah. Time to go find some caribou. All right, we got some caribou and some sheep spotted up above. Got about four caribou. And it looks like there's about a herd of about and sheep up on the hillside way up there so figure out if any of the caribous are bulls and keep an eye and see if it's worth heading on over there it's probably what would you say it is Blake like two miles, two miles up there so have to go down, down here come down there cross and go all the way there up there so figure out if we're gonna make a play what do you say? You said it's a long freaking way up there. <laughs> caribou right there. Oh yeah, caribou right there. Is it a bull? Two caribou. It's that mom and it's baby. Nice.
All right. We got a bunch of caribou spotted up behind us. Looks like probably around 10 or so. So we're gonna, we're gonna work up and around and see if we can work up these rocks up here. Get in up, protected, get up above and see if we got any bulls in there, so. Dumping some layers. It's a little toasty. Working our way in here. still about a thousand yards up above so we're gonna try to get up here and get some eyes on them and see if we have any good bulls well what do we got we got up to the top and popped over we got three or four bulls all bedded down next to each other. One of them's for sure a double shovel. So automatically he's in the cards to be the opening day boomer. I'll get the uh, phone scope out here, but right down there you can see him bedded down. Some nice bulls, bats are herded up. down there it's the first day of the hunt um 1 30 or so i think we're gonna go down get get into 200 yards of them get one final look and we'll see you at the 200 yard mark well those balls gave us the slip i think they caught our wind we were working up in and they took off so they went up and over the saddle, so we're gonna grab the packs and work up and over and see if we can't relocate them on the other side. But unfortunately, they uh, they won this time, so we'll keep hammering. Get him again, get him again. He's done, dude. Nice shot.
Well, that happened fast. Well, <laughs> are you on video? Yeah. We were sitting up at the hill and wasn't planning on shooting it, but gents hit me with the old guilt trip. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's all about making memories when you're sitting on the couch 30, 40 years from now. And uh, just got a nice brown bear kill on camera. Gents got to witness this all the way from uh, down at home. So, yeah. We're gonna try doing a double bagger. If I, we can pull off a caribou with this hunt, it'll be the first double bagger hunt we've been able to pull off. So we're gonna wait about a solid hour, make sure <laughs> that thing is completely dead. But uh, I think it's safe to say the 338 Lapua 250 grain does work. I mean, thing dropped like a ton of bricks. So we'll see you at the kill. Lake just dropped a nice grizzly, so we're headed across the creek here, over to uh, retrieve it, so it's a pretty nice bear, pretty, uh, pretty cool to have the shot on the film and stuff too, so go so through the good old bear feathers here. struggle begins. It's going to be nice uh, carrying a big 100 pound cape and skull back through this stuff, that's for sure, but it's all right. It makes memories. All right, we'll see you at the kill. You done? Nice work, dude. Blake, if he shot the Grizz, then I'd pack it out. I didn't realize just how heavy these hides and skulls are. <laughs> these things are beasts, but it's worth it. it feels good. The Sharpa Award of the Year, <laughs> Gents Tapio. So if we make it back before uh, dark, I think we'll do all right. See you at the top. Day two morning, it's 12.18. We uh, got back to the tent about 11 o'clock last night. Everything was soaked. Boots were soaked all the way through. Pants soaked, coat soaked. So uh, yeah, we slept in a little bit today. Did a little glassing just around camp. Saw a couple caribou. Our two buddies that were here day one, they're still hanging out, but they ain't worth shooting. It's a mom and a calf. So we're gonna go out, do a little half day hunt, do some glassing and try to get back to the tent tonight before it gets uh, completely pitch black dark. So yeah, we're pretty well recovered, ready to get it done today and then hit it real hard again tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see you later. All right, a couple minutes into glassing, Blake. Just... 
located that big bull from last night right out there on that farthest rock peak right there so we're gonna gather the stuff up here and see if we can't go make a play on it Rap. Nice shot. He's done, dude. He's done. Just leave him be, he's done. Nice shot, dude. Coming up on him, spot we saw him last. Thought he was up in the rocks and we got up to the spot we wanted to try making a play for him and angle wasn't any good. We we're gonna be too close, wrong angle, weren't gonna be able to see him and last minute decision, decided to bank hard left, try getting around, shoot him from the downhill side and we we're working down nice and slow. We stopped like 100 feet back because a plane was coming by. We just waited and I was walking forward and it. 15 yards see the tops of his horns he started walking he was just a little bit too low and uh gents made a noise at him he stopped decided to keep going and he got right up behind us here and gents made whatever sound made him stop and gave me just enough time for a nice broadside shot got him right through the lungs and there he is he's down he's, he's down right hill, here baby unfortunately he took a couple tumbles as you'll see on the film Absolutely unreal. This other bull popped out here, which we think might be the one we were actually going after. So the one with shots right down here. This one just ran up to check us out, and we think this is the bigger one that we were after. Unfortunately, I think that bull right there is bigger, but the one we shot is still a nice bull. So what do you do?
What do you think? That's awesome. <laughs> Definitely glad he's not nearly as big as a moose. Yeah, be a good, good pack out. hours now since we uh, started hiking from Blake's Bowl so we're getting ready to make the final <laughs> final grind up to the camp here behind us this is gonna be the fun part here the so steepest part of the entire walk is the last <laughs> 700 yards back to the tent so. yep so it hasn't been too bad but it's probably been I'd say easily three to four miles with all the ups and downs and just trying to avoid all the this tundra country is crazy. Like there's just so much marshy stuff that you have to try avoid or you're going to be over your boots and stuff. And so even up high, like there's stuff that you just, I don't know, there's water where it shouldn't be really, but Gravity yeah. Gravity don't work in Alaska. <laughs> I know. I just say it rains so much up here. There's always water coming out of the ground, but I don't know. So yeah, well, it's been good. I mean, three hours with a hundred pounds on our backs. Plus I'm ready to have them off. So we're going to, do the final push up here to the tent and have a double dinner. Yeah, big mountain house mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is on the meal menu Hot tonight. Tang. Hot tang, and then I pack one king size Butterfinger that I said if we shoot something or caribou, we're gonna eat. So we're gonna destroy that Butterfinger tonight. About one bite, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's fresh tenderloins and mashed potatoes tomorrow. We got a full day to kill tomorrow. The pilot can't come and fly us out until Thursday. So it's Tuesday night. So we got tomorrow, which will be good. We can kind of get all the meat prepped, everything good to go, the skull cleaned up. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully see him sometime Thursday, weather permitting. So, all right, it's time to go burn the quads up this hill. Adios. Pretty good for camp food. Fresh caribou tenderloin. Hits the spot. You got some fresh mashed taters in there. <whistles> Eating like kings. All right, it is a little chilly this morning. There's some snow up there up top. As you can see from last night, we are getting things loaded up here. We just got work from the pilot. He is leaving Wasilla right now, so about an hour or so he should be out here. We'll be loading things up and heading out of the back country. It's been a heck of a time. Nice grizzly bear, big caribou taken, and some good memories. But uh, 
we're definitely ready to be out of this tent. We had a full day yesterday to kill, so we uh, skinned out the caribou skull, kinda did some cleanup around camp, killed time, and uh, yeah, we're ready to be out of here now. So yeah, like I said, an hour, he should be touching down here and we'll have everything loaded up and be headed out.